All of May, we have been celebrating Asian Pacific Islander Month here at NBC Bay Area. Time to shine a light on the communities that make our area unique and really fabulous. Well, one of the biggest Bay Area draws, of course, is San Francisco's cable cars. NBC Bay Area's Joe Rosado Jr. has a story of a gripman who brings those cars to life. You hear them, feel them, rumbling up and down the streets. San Francisco's wooden ambassadors from another time. Heard it's our living history. This is living history. Veteran cable car gripman Valentine Lupez could also be from another time. I think they just like the way I dress. <laughs> He's been at the grip of history for over two decades. I can look at a photograph of one of these things from 1930 and oh, I was driving out last week. Lupez has something in common with the cable cars. He was born and raised in San Francisco. I'm half Japanese and half Filipino. Mom was born in Tokyo and dad was born in um, Mindanao. My mom, she had friends down in Chinatown and the grown-ups would go and play cards and mahjong and, you know, go play. So I wandered up the hill and I saw the cable cars rolling past. Like, oh, that's cool. He was eight years old when he heard his calling. Little kids, you know, and then you want to be a, uh, an astronaut or a police officer. I always wanted to do this. On a nice, quiet, sunny day when there's not too much going on, I think back, well, maybe this is what it was like in 1890. Growing up in the city's Mission District, Lupez's mother gave him a piece of advice. She always said, being Asian, that I would have to work harder in order to prove myself. And so he has. Muni often calls Lupez for special events or the launch of a special car. I'm very proud of what I do. <laughs> Everyone knows you to to do this special job, it's it, it gives a, a good feeling. So this is car number three. Just don't ask, Lupez. This is car number eight. Which car is his favorite? It's like, do you have a favorite child? <laughs> They're very much like people. They're individuals. And so when the pandemic shut down the cable cars for nearly a year and a half, Lupez missed those individuals, the human and the wooden kind. It was pretty depressing, I won't lie. The actual work, being on the road, ringing the bell, working the brakes, the smell, the sound. By the time he got his hands back on the grip, Lupus had rediscovered that same feeling as a kid watching the cable cars climb. It's really made me appreciate even more what I have. If there's a highlight for Lupus, it was a few years back when Muni relaunched historic car Big 19 after 70 years in storage. It chose Lupus to grip for its inaugural run. It just happened to be my birthday, so that was one of the greatest birthday presents I have ever gotten. Now every day behind this stick feels like a gift. I don't bother playing the lotto, I don't do anything, I've used up all my luck. <laughs> it may have less to do with luck than a work ethic and the joy of a childhood dream come to life on the hills of San Francisco. Joe Rosado Jr., <laughs> NBC Bay Area News.